It is the premiere of The Bachelor with Pilot Pete Weber, and we have Peter looking dapper, his mom crying, Alexa waxing, well, you know. Oh, wait, there's someone that looks like Hannah Brown. Oh my gosh, it is Hannah Brown. Hannah is there to return Peter's wings, which is what he gave her during his limo entrance when Hannah was the bachelorette. It is such a sweet gesture, but what turned out to be a kind gesture turned into an emotional roller coaster for the both of them. And if you haven't seen my recap going over Hannah and Peter's conversation in detail, I will put a link below in the description because I cover that in detail. In case you missed it, here is an entry of Hannah's Dancing with the Stars diary. This was written the week of Monday night's episode. Practice was really hard today. I was really emotional. I was frustrated and Alan was frustrated because we only had three days to learn this dance and couldn't pick up anything. I've had a lot of mind fog from the stuff emotionally that I haven't had time to deal with and it's decided to come out this week. I'm having a really hard time picking up the rumba and just taking steps today. I think what it's coming down to is I feel that I've made a lot of decisions that I shouldn't have trusted the past year. This is the rain cloud over all this. Because of that, it's manifesting in dance. I don't trust myself to take a step. I don't trust myself to make decisions right now because a lot of the decision I made the past year were they the best? I don't know. I was having an aha moment that trust is not something that I really have right now at all. For other people or for myself, it's been a heavy day. Could she be writing this with Peter in mind? And obviously, <laughs> obviously she has, but I think just reading and finding her diary entry for you know, at that time, it just only proves of how emotionally invested that she realized she was for Peter. But that was back in September. So, of course, you know, anything can change. But as Peter walks out of the limo, walks towards Chris, Chris asked him if he's over Hannah. Peter says that he has moved on and, of course, wouldn't be on the show if he hadn't. So, of course, we think he's good to go, right? Well, <laughs> I think we know the answer to that. But in the meantime, let's quickly go through all the women that Peter has on the show.
So, like always, we have the interrupter. We have the woman that tends to interrupt multiple times in the night. And this episode, it's Hannah Ann. The women obviously start to get upset. We have Savannah saying, I'm going to be next, bitch. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But really, no, I'm not kidding. My Kenna interrupts not once but twice by throwing paper airplanes towards Peter and Natasha's conversation. Natasha says that there are cats and rats. And Natasha is saying that herself, she is a cat. So you can see this tension building. Because then she comes back with a huge airplane. It's just getting vicious, guys. And then tells my Kenna to get on it and fly away. Sheehan was interrupted by Hannah Ann, and she found out that it was the third time that Hannah had interrupted the girls. She pulls Hannah aside, calls her out on it, saying that she wants to have her time with Peter. Hannah replies with, I want that for you too. You have been polite and honest and transparent. And Hannah later stated she appreciates and respect that, and she was as nice as pie, And she didn't know how to react to Hannah Ann being so polite about it and being so nice and genuine. So she walks away crying. And now we have the first impression rose that goes to Hannah Ann. Peter says that he has room for two Hannahs in his heart. And there goes my new favorite Savannah with the snarky, cool comments saying, I'm not going to lie, I'm really jelly. So there are eight women that get eliminated. This video is courtesy of Reality Steve. First four are Megan, Katrina, Jenna, and Eunice. And the other four women are Avali, Marissa, Kylie, and Jade. And in case you didn't know, there were three flight attendants on the show. All three were eliminated. So the first thing that they do on their first date is go through a fake turbulence test and no freaking way would I get on this thing. Is it really a good idea for the first date? Victoria P gets sick, of course, runs to the bathroom as soon as she gets off. Peter runs after her, gives her water. I hope he gave her time to actually throw up first. She talks about how we all need someone to take care of us when we get sick and expresses that she's never had anyone take care of her the way that he just did, which is really sad. Now here they are spinning in chairs. They put on gear, go through an obstacle course with a wind fan blowing at them. And if you look at Peter, the wind is blowing so hard that he's actually able to lean forward without him even falling to the ground. So I think that's kind of cool. That would pretty much be the only thing that I'd want to try in this course. Lastly, we have Kelly and Tammy on tricycles, and it looks like Kelly decides to go straight when Tammy's going through the course. So with that, Kelly wins, and everyone accuses her of cheating. The girls are pissed, to say the least. Because Kelly won, she gets some one-on-one time with Peter, and Kelly's definitely not the favorite right now being accused of cheating, and the fact that she met Peter before, and it makes things worse there at the exact hotel in which they met each other one month before filming even started. Now it's time for the one-on-one date. Peter chooses Madison, and of course she is gorgeous, one of my personal favorites. She seems genuine, and the way that she handles this situation at Peter's vow renewal, well, his parents, uh, is pretty classy. And I have no idea even how you would even choose someone for this kind of date, but it looks as though Peter made a great decision with Madison. So can you imagine going on a first date, walking in and seeing your date's entire family in one spot? How nervous would you be? 
And of course, I have to put in a picture of Peter's parents renewing their vows because I think it's totally awesome. Here is Peter's mom feeding Madison cake. Of course, Madison catches the bouquet. I think the producers kind of told the other guests to not catch the bouquet because it doesn't seem as though many people actually went for it. Peter's mom's so cute, giving a thumbs up. Madison returning the gesture. They get a little one-on-one -on -one time. And then Peter's family comes running back, which I think is cool, which I think is actually really cool because there's no better way to see if someone is right for you without your family meeting the person, having a little input. And like I said earlier, I think Madison handled herself very well. Looks like she had a great time. Looks like Peter had a great time and hopefully her parents did as well. So here we have Hannah Brown showing up for the second group date. And as we can see, there's, there's some stuff going on. The last several minutes of the show, we have Peter and Hannah's emotional conversation. And I did a video two days ago about this conversation in detail. So if you want to check that out, again, I will put the link in the description. And there you have it. Episode one recap, and it's going to be a doozy. All I can say is I hope Peter finds exactly what he is looking for, no matter what the outcome is. And with that said, I will see you next week.